ओके केजी परसेंट स्क्वायर एंड नो वियर एंड नो टियर हाई केमिकल स्ट्रेंस थैंक्स फॉर वाइड इंड ऑफ लाइनर्स एंड द लॉन्ग लाइफ दीज आर द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ एडवांटेजेस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैटिक फ्लोमीटर्स ओके दीज आर द इलेक्ट्रोड यू कैन सी हियर दिस इलेक्ट्रोड ओके इट इज जस्ट लाइक अवर नेल्स स्टेनलेस स्टील मेटेरियल मोस्ट ऑफ टाइम अदरवाइज इट मेटेरियल मे चेंज एज पर द एप्लीकेशन बट नो ए वेरी गुड पॉइंट इन द इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन कर्व वॉट इज द वेटेड पार्ट ऑफ एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट सो इन द केस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमेटिक फ्लोमीटर द वेटेड पार्ट आर लाइनर एंड इलेक्ट्रोड बिकॉज दे आर कमिंग इन द कॉन्टेक्ट ऑफ द योर फ्लिड सो With this, you are also learning one new word. What is the meaning of wetted part? Okay, this slide is very important. You can take a photograph of this because we have talked about it has a wide range of liners. So here you can see the different different liners: PTFE liner, PFA liner, ETFE liner, PP liner, hard rubber, soft rubber, polyurethane, aluminium, zirconium oxide ceramics liner. So there are different different liners used for the different different type of fluids, and they are depending on the abrasion resistance and depend on the temperature. You see here temperature and vacuum resistance. So these are the wide range of liners so you should know about the liners and the selection of the liner here you can see this kind of flow meter where the head part and converter part is the integral type electromagnetic flow meter you can see here liner white color ptfe black color normally is the your hard rubber then this is the flanges this is the coil housing the display and two cable tens So hope you have understand from the construction of the flow meter, inside of the flow meter, sketch the flow meter to the full flow meter, how it look like. This slide is very important for the people who are working in the projects because most of the time in a site we did or we do or you will do the problems like this because. the flow meter is ordered by instrumentation or mechanical department sometime but always these flanges fittings are from the mechanical department and this flow meter either it is a sandwich type or the flange type will, will have a matting flanges if the matting flanges pcd is not matching then you are not able to fix the flow meter even if you have a different kind of your application high pressure high temperature then number of holes and the whole dia and thickness is also important parameter so we have to check it take care that whatever flow meters flange standard we are procuring the same kind of matting flange we have to take otherwise we will have a lot of problems because different companies having the different their standard flange options if you want one german company this standard or this standard then in the during the ordering you have to tell what kind of standard i need recall if you are, you have a ci and di pipes so ci and di pipes are existing pipe or you purchase a pipe they have a different pcds they may have a different thickness number of holes so you have to tell during the ordering what kind of pcd or what kind of standard or dill which may be like this it is a din 200 dilled as per is 1538 so that is also possible but you have to have a very important thing is depending on your moc you have to select the proper type of the flanges now we will see the different standards because if you purchase some flow meter from the germany or sweden or some other places and now we want to replace then the a to a means flange to flange distance should be same so that one to one replacement is possible if you are doing it flow meter for custody transfer then again there are some standards right so what are these standards that commonly used when you are using the flow metering now we are going to tell you so you see here 
these are the standards so it is not coming you stop it here we can also need to know about the pipe standards what are the different pipe standard so you have must have a knowledge when you have been a design engineer or application engineer or the project engineer or the service engineer so these are things are important for you so you should know this thing what is the type of pipe means material of construction of your pipe before installing a flow meter then you see types of end connections type of end connection is a sandwich version there's a nc150 flange or nc300 flange or your flange version which we seen in a previous slides it should be different different standard like is then din ghost like that then pressure class so this pressure class you can see like this if is a 150 then the nominal pressure is a 20 pn 300 then 500 pn but the important point over here when you have a when you have a pressure also in your temperature also in your pipeline or application that time it is not going the simple this then this 150 rating will not handle 200 20 kg per 20 uh, kg per cent of pressure the pressure will be capacitively reduced to 18 or 15 or 10 depending on your temperature so you have to consider that graph that graph is readily available for the rating for the pressure and the temperature now more important thing is your so when we are selecting our flanges that time we have to consider not only our rating and the pressure we have to also consider temperature if you are drinking water and all there is no problem but if the application is the hot water then you have to check it now important is the what are the different mocs can you tell me about some mocs 1 2 3 4 very good you are telling ms you are telling ss you are telling ci you are selling di what more so i will tell you the, tell you the more so these are the more okay very common ms gi then your ac ci but psc okay psc ms pvc sdp crp frp upvc ss so there are different different mocs of the pipes now we can see here next slide and this slide is very good slide for the communication protocol now your flow meter has to connect with a some display some plc some rtu some dcs some fit right to display the reading for the monitoring purpose or sometimes some alerts some alarm some feedback some loops so for that we have to connect some device with a flow meter even a plc directly you are connecting flow meters with the plc so we will see some basics connection protocol when you come here and see actual skill and all you can also do the hands on on that so what are these communication protocol we will see here okay current pulse voltage rs45 rs232 hard ethernet so today we will go with this and the detail of this and everything we will see in a next topic hope you have got some insight about transformer flow meter from the principle from the construction how it looks like what are the different parts how liner electrode the material why materials are different then erection point of view you have a different standards then the flanges the requirement of importance of the pcd right then you see the pressure and temperature effect on the flange ratings different type of material of construction of pipe other things we will see in a next session happy learning and now i will show you the actual skit photographs okay so now we will go and we will show you skit now you can see practically how electrometric flow meter looks like 
so electrolytic flow meters we discussed it's a two parts one is the its converter or some people say it's a head converter electronics or display the second part is a its head you can see here the head you can see here the head this is the head and you see for the summers application and all we will have it as a ip68 you can see it's ip68 head right this the head two glands one is for black is for your coil and gray is for your electrodes and these two wires are coming here you can see here it's coming right it's a four wire why because we are giving 230 volt from here ac and we are taking this signal from here if you can show it some more near so if you can you see here is a what b minus b b plus d a a plus so what it's showing you it's showing you that if a d is the mod bus b is the mod bus d is the pulse and a is the current here you can see is the coil and here see the electrode so two electrode and it is the body and this is the flow converter and then the programming and all the important things you know now we have learned about the internal of the flow meters the important thing is what e is equal to bvl e is equal to constant bvl right so in this in this kind of converters any converter any make i am telling about it's a e and h make inders hoser krona abb siemens right yokogawa many different so all will have a same kind of things so what is required in the config configuration you need to put what is there inside the head means the the size of flow meter the constant and the range after that if it is a mod bus or the heart then you have to do the mod bus or heart setting inside the converter so this is today we are completing electromagnetic flow meter and this is the head this is the converter this is the head and other things we have understood in the previous sessions so we will make another session that will be the part c of electromagnetic flow meter where we tell you about the different unique very interesting applications of electromagnetic flow meters so thank you very much we will meet in a other video